Yo, what's up guys? I'm back again with another video. And uh, guys, today I want to talk about some very important detailing stuff. And uh, guys, as a matter of fact, I picked up a new baller on the Mean Green, which was $2.15 at your family dollar store. And uh, they give you a big thing. This is a 40 ounce baller here. And uh, for two fifteen, man, you can't beat that. I'm going back and get another baller today. Matter of fact, I bought a, a gallon already. So I'm just going back and get another bottle of this stuff while it lasts, man. Mean Greens is my favorite stuff to clean with. So, guys, head out to your family dollar. Pick your large bottle of this up. Then you had a bottle or two for the duty refills. It's a nice size bottle. And uh, that's why I pick them up. And in a few minutes, I'll be going back to get another bottle. All right, so moving on here, guys, what I want to talk about. And what I want to do a demonstration on, guys, is people detailing cars. They get the cars and the trucks, SUVs, whatever, looking good. But a lot of people forget all about. See how the dirt in the trunk lids? I'm going to call it trunk jam. You see all that dirt and grime and stuff up in there? And people notice that. See all that dirt and grime going around your tail lights and stuff? This is on my Honda wagon here. And, um... It's the same thing with SUVs and regular cars, pickup trucks. Well, pickup trucks, I ain't got it, but this is uh, around the tailgate and stuff like that. But um, as you can see here, guys, all this dirt and grime here. And when people open the trunk, they notice stuff like this. I mean, you detailing the cars, you got the paint and stuff shining all up, looking good. But when you get here, you see all this crut and dirt. Build up and grind. Look at that, even coming all around the tail lights and stuff. Dirt and grind build up there. See that, guys? And uh, people notice stuff like this, man. They notice stuff like this. And even it goes all the way up until you get the crud all around up in there. And um, when you're doing auto detailing, guys, all this is part of cleaning the car. Look at here. Stuff here. All that crap going all around the lights right here. Look at there. All up here. All that packed down dirt right there. And see, people forget all about stuff like that. And you got to think and tell yourself that people paid you to detail this car. Okay? I give you, let's say I give you a hundred bucks. to give me a nice full detail on this Honda wagon. But when I get my car back, I'm going to be kind of disappointed, guys. When I open the, my lid, my trunk lid here, and I see all this crut and stuff right, coming all down up in here. And all that dirt, all that dirt and stuff on the head, on the tail lights right here. Look here. Stuff like that. I feel like I ain't got my money to wolf, you know. So I'm going to be like, dog, he did a half job. I pay this guy, you know, ninety dollars, hundred dollars, eighty dollars, or whatever, and uh, he didn't do a good job at cleaning my car, point blank. And then you look at here, you got all that dirt and crud. Get close up here on the molding of the trunk lid. Look at here, see all that crud. And today, guys, I'm gonna show you how you can clean that stuff just using a cheap cleaner. And your customer will be very happy when you do. Because when you open the trunk, you can see this stuff on a, on a car that's not a hatchback. Look at here, for example. It's all that crap, dirt, crap, old leaves, everything that gets round up in here. People forget all about stuff like that. They shine their car up, see. They get the body and the rims and the tires looking all good in the interior. But they forget all about stuff like this right here. They get that looking good. See, look at here. Now what I'm going to do, guys, I got my brush. Do a little agitation. Got my mean green. Just a simple rag to dry it with. Okay? Okay, let's cut it on. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. Just like this, as you can see all that dirt and crap all down up in there. And that's part of detailing, man. That's part of detailing. 
And some people, when they see that, they gonna feel like you done a half job. Cause they pay you to get all this stuff. Give it time to work in. Take it agitated with a brush. It's like this. This brush is not that aggressive. So it's not going to scratch your paint or nothing, nothing like that. Especially in hidden areas like this. Doesn't really matter too much. Just as long as it don't take your paint off. You know. Just getting the crit and dirt and stuff off there as you can see here. And people forget all about stuff like this. You know, they concentrate more of shining the tires and shining the rims and shining the paint. Getting the interior clean. But you got some people out there that are looking at this. And be surprised, man, at who looking at it. Some you least suspect paying attention to stuff like this. Same thing like the door jams, man. It's the same thing. It's the trunk jams. You know, people open their trunk, they see all that dirt and crap down up in there like that. They go say, well, I paid him X amount of dollars. He done a half job. I ain't going to get him clean my ride no more. I'm telling you guys, some people think that way. And when I wipe this off, you're going to see a big difference here. Look at here. Look at there. Look at there, guys. Look at there. I just use this just to dry it off. That's all I'm using it for. See here? They contain the process on around. See here? Look at there. You see how much better that look with your molding and all that stuff nice and clean? Look at there. Made a big difference, didn't it? That's what people want to see when they open their trunk lid, man. That's what they want to see. They want all this stuff to look like that once they paid you. Okay, now, you come over here to this side. Come over here to this side. Look at here what we got. See what I mean? See how bad that look? All that crap and grime and stuff gunked up in here. You see how bad this look? Compared to the side we just did right here. See, the whole car look better, man. Just by doing that right there. How smooth and clean that looks. Even your molding condition. Taking clean your molding, too. To condition this. Keep that from cracking up. See here? Put some endurance tie gel on your molding. Lightly glaze it. You know, that kind of conditioning. Might come back with a video on that. But look here, guys. See how much different, how much better that looks right here? Just, just by doing this like this. Now, once they pay you, people are gonna look at stuff like this, man. I'm telling you, they're gonna look at stuff like this. When they pay you eighty, nine, or hundred bucks for a good job, car wash, detail, or whatever, they gonna, you got people out there that's gonna pay attention to stuff like this. Now, when they come open their trunk. It's looking like this. Guys, they go say, man, he, he did a good job on the outside and he did a good job on the inside. But God, he just forgot all about my trunk jams. I opened my trunk, it looks terrible. Look at all that dirt and crut down up in there. Look at here. All that crut and dirt. Look. All that crut and dirt down up in there. They said, oh, he done a half job. No. And then they're going to be wanting to be like, they might not even say nothing to you about it. But they're going to be like, you done a half job, you know. They're gonna, they probably ain't going to say nothing to you about it. But I'm telling you guys, people, it's like that. You'll lose a doggone customer like that. I'm telling you. Because they think you done a half job. And stuff like that makes a big difference. On not only the appearance of the vehicle, guys. It makes a difference on your molding, life of your molding and stuff like that. This stuff right here got to be conditioned too. I come back with a separate video. You don't want this stuff to start cracking up and stuff. Well, all that dirt, dirt help cracks it up. See, it's like sandpaper. When you close, open and close over the years, that dirt help crack this stuff. Sandpaper gush down, it's like this. 
just like a piece of sandpaper and grit and dirt get on it like that. It kind of help cut down into it. See, you want to keep that dirt and grind off your molding if you want it to last. You know, and all cars got it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, guys, it's just a little tip showing you guys how much, you know, you could bake, turn a, de a detail job from good to sour. Oh, stuff a lot of detailers forget about. Cleaning the trunk jams and stuff like this out. You know, they concentrate on snow foam in the car and <laughs> buffing the car and cleaning the interior and steaming the car and all that stuff. But they forget all about stuff like this. That people, look how clean that is, man. Stuff that people are really going to look for. You can see a big difference there. You know what I'm saying? But even around the lights and stuff is clean, man. Look at here. See? Compared to this side over here, where all that crap and dirt and stuff still. Look at there. See? That makes a big difference. And when you detail for your customers, they don't notice that. Because when you open the trunk lid up, that's the first thing you see. Stuff like this. When you're doing, they had a, just had a detail done, they're going to see that. Versus this side. And they're going to be like, oh, that looks nice, you know. And you can really tell the difference and make the whole car look different. The whole entire vehicle look different. Just by cleaning the trunk lids out. Which a lot of detailers forget about. Like I said, it were about snow foam in the car, clay bar in the car, waxing the car, polishing in the car, shining the tires, cleaning the rims, cleaning the interior. But they forget all about little simple stuff like this right here, guys. All right, take notes, man. Take notes when you guys out there detailing. Make sure you clean them trunk jams out, man. Because you don't want to detail about a car and the trunk jams looking like this right here. See? How bad that look, man. Stuff be trapped down up in there when you don't know nothing about it. But all you paying mind to is the body of the car like this. See. Hope you guys take notes, man. Hope you enjoy. I'll be bringing out more videos. Guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And uh, y'all guys, get up on them trunk jams, man. Get that stuff cleaned out, man. Because your customers take note. They might not tell you, but they know it. They take note when it's still looking like this right here compared to this. I think they don't. Believe me. Some people funny and they take note of everything. Y'all know how some how funny some people is. Y'all already know that. Alright, guys take care. And I'll see you on the next video.